this uh, uh, good day the second lecture of discipline ecology and the fundamentals of life safety is about the art ecology the ecology of organisms in this lecture we describe about the art ecology about the interaction of habitat and organisms or ecological factors and the classification limiting factors, laws of action of abiotic and biotic factors, labic minimums and law and Shelford's law of tolerance, tolerance range, ecological significance of the main abiotic factors in the life of organisms, ecological capacity of the environment. The science that studied the relationship of species to the environment is called autoecology. Based on autoecology, the process of adaptation of species to the environment is based on the study of pair effects, organizer factors, on specific abiotic, abiotic factors. That is way, why it is called factors ecology. Out ecological research is characteristic of uh, both biological ecology and human ecology, in which the study of physical and hygienic regulation of environmental factors and its extreme effects on the body is widely used. From the ecological point of view, the environment is a set of natural bodies and phenomena in which the organism is indirect and indirect conduct. In the broad sense, it is the natural bodies, phenomena, and energies that affect in the body. The concept of environment is external environmental, but is direct contact with the object and the subject. Adaptation of organisms to the environment is called adaptation. In fact, adaptation is an evolutionary adaptation to the environment, which is determined by changes in the external and internal features of the organisms. Ability to adapt is one of the basic qualities of life in general because it provides the ability to serve, the ability of organisms to reproduce, and, re uh, and also adaptation can occur at different levels, from cell biochemistry to the behavior of certain organisms to the structure and function of communities and ecosystems. Adaptation of organisms develops through change uh, genealogically and natural selection. An environmental factor is any state of environment in which a living organism can directly or indirectly affect on one phase of its individual development. The body fields of a special ad uh, adapted reaction to environmental factors in other words adapted to it. Environmental factors are different, they are necessary or helpful to the organisms, can cause or hydrate its recovery and development. The nature and spe specific of the interaction of environmental factors will be different. They are divided into abiotic, biotic and anthropogenic. Abiotic factors are all the properties of in, uh, in a native, native nature and directly or indirectly affect living organisms. Light, temperature, radiation, pressure, humidity, salinity, relief of the area, etc. Biotic factors are types of living organisms that directly or indirectly affect each other. Each organism tests the different effects of other organisms in a particular situation. Anthropogenic factors are factors that arise from the direct or indirect human impact. Uh, ab ab uh, abiotic factors uh, divided in uh, four parts, climate, edophagenic, orographic, and chemical. Climate is light, temperature, humidity, air movement, pressure, edophagenic, uh, it is a mechanical composition, humidity area, predominantly density. Orographic relief, marine, the height above the level, the surface explosion. And chemical, the, it is the gaseous composition of air, salinity and function of water concentration as acidity and composition of soil plants. And biotics uh, divided in um, three parts. Phytogenic, zoogenic, microbiogenic, or also anthropogenic is a, uh, a sample factors. There are other ways to classify environmental factors in order first and second, in time evolutionary and historically, from origin cosmic, abiotic, biogenic, biotic, biological, natural, anthropogenic, including man made, anthropological, including anxiety. By habitat, atmospheric, aquatic, ge geomorphological, edaphic, 
physiological, genetic, population, biogenetic, ecosystem, biosphere. By the status of the effect, a little, extreme, limited, uh, presented, uh, mutagenic, uh, teratogenic. The effect of environmental factor on the body depends on its intensity or, or size. Despite most of the effect of environmental factors, the general characteristics of the effects can be uh, distinguished. Distinguished. Then, uh, when the factor is low or high, the vital activity of the factor decreases. The effect of the factor is not low or high, but the effect on the optimal value for the organism. Uh, environmental factors, depending on the range of activity or tolerance zones uh, of the same factor, the organism can serve limiting the peripheral them short. In the uh, picture, you can see the general sum of the impact of environmental factors on living organisms. Three points, optimum, minimum, maximum, form three fundamental points that determine the body's possible response to that factors. The extreme part of the curve, which determines the state of operation in the absence and advantage of the factor, are called the pessimum zone. Near the critical points is the sublateral amount of the factor, and within the tolerance zone, the lateral value of the factor that leads to the depth of the organism. A factor uh, that extends beyond the shadow zone and has an oppressive effect is called the ecological extreme. The regularity of the effects of environmental factors on living organism and the responsible nature of the reaction described above known as the rule of optimum. The serial and uh, reliance of the organism is sensitive to two or more environmental factors. The most important meaning is the factors or resources that the body needs the least. This idea became uh, the basis of the law of minimum developed by the German chemist Leibig in uh, 1840. The tolerance of the organism is determined by the minimum generation of ecological needs. The meaning of this law can be seen in the following example. The amount of crop is determined by the fact that the nutrients in the soil array in the number of elements that meet the needs of the plant in other words in small quantities. In the soil at its concentration increases, the yield increases proportionally uh, to the amount introduced and until the other element is minimum. Identification of the most negative link is very important in environmental forecasting, planning, and analysis of projects. This provision allows the effective replacement of deficient substance and effects, for example, in process of using natural resources and in agriculture. Then, a defined limited value has been only minimal factors. The fact or serial in the uh, of the organism is determined by the priority, not the minimum value of factors. The first came up with the idea according Shelfer. It is based on the law of tolerance as a limiting factor in the development of an organism or species. There is a maximum and minimum of environment of impact, the range between which determines the body's tolerance to that factor. The law of tolerance is the body's ability to tolerance fluctuation in environmental values. The limiting factor limits the survival of organisms or the flow of process. A limiting factor is an factor uh, whose uh, level in close to exist the body's tolerance limit. Light is one of the most important ab abiotic factors, especially for photosynthetic green plants. Each habitat is characterized by a certain scheduled the ratio of intensity or power, quantity and quality of light. To determine the mode of light, it is necessary to take into account the number of reflected light albedo. Thus, albedo is a reflective property which is expressed as a percentage of total radiation and depends on the angle of insights of the uh, beam and the re reflective properties of the surface. Depending on the light, the following ecological groups of plants are divided. Light, heli, fetus, 
uh, or like uh, loving shady stereophytes, shade loving, shade tolerant, optional heliophytes. Light species heliophytes live in well eat open areas. They are rare in forest areas. They uh, form a low vegetation cover so as or not uh, overshadow each other. Light affects the growth of plants. Shade loving plants surface do not tolerate uh, much light, live in the shade in the woods. It's mainly forest grass. Sudden light, such as uh, when cutting down trees, often cause them to do. Shade tolerant optional heliophytes grow well in light but tolerate, uh, tolerate a little shade. It is mostly forest plants. Thermal regime is an important condition for the survival of living organisms because not all of uh, physiological processes are possible under certain conditions. The main source of heat is sunlight. The temperature factor is characterized by seasonal and uh, uh, Diurnal fluctuations. In the same parts of the world, the activity of this factor is important to regulate the activity of organisms to cover the daily and seasonal mode of life. Depending on the temperature, all organisms are divided into two groups, cold-loving and uh, heat-loving. Cold-loving organisms is, uh, or cryophiles are capable of low temperature and cannot tolerate high ones. Cryophiles remain activity only when the cell temperature drops to uh, 8 and 10 uh, Celsius when their body fluids cool down. Cryophilia is characterized of each gro uh, group, for example, bacteria, fungi, uh, snails, and etc. Depending on the temperature range of species, organisms are divided in, uh, into thermic and uh, stenothermic. Aerothermic organisms can withstand a wide range of temperature, while stenothermic organisms live on the bottom. Aerothermic includes organisms living in the continental climate. Most of them are dormant herbs that tolerate a wide range of temperatures, for example, eggs, kisses, insects, and etc. In uh, verbatim fish, uh, amphibious and uh, replates are depend on the ability to maintain body temperature in the border. There are called poily, uh, poikilo terms. Uh, these animals are often called ectothermic because they depend on external heat. They are characterized by low circulation intensity and lack of the heat storage mechanisms. They use it to be called cold-blooded, but the term is not clear. Birds and animals, uh, mammals can maintain a constant body temperature uh, regardless or outside temperature. He calls animals homothermic or warm bodied in answer terminology. Depending on the humidity of the environment, terrestrial organisms are divided into three main ecological groups hydrophilic, mesury loving, hero. Xerophilic, dry loving, and mesophilic plants. Among the animals, mosquitoes, lizards, dramtos, etc., they cannot be without water storage and short term drought. Uh, depending um, of the uh, habitat of terrestrial plants, the class divided ecological groups hydrophytes or uh, hydro, uh, hydrophytes, mesophytes, xerophytes. Hydrophytes uh, this, this is the plants that live in most places, do not tolerate lack of water and how long drop resistance. Uh, plants of this group consist mainly of large, slender, delicate levels with a small number of mouths which are located on both sides. Mesophytes are plants that live in moderately humid places. The uh, vascular system is well developed. The roots have many vascular hairs. The levels are of different size, but mostly large, soft, not link, flat, alert, conductive, mechanical development. The mouth is located at the bottom of the leaf. Uh, oral transpiration regulation is well, well established. Mesophytes include many pasture grasses, many forest plants, many uh, uh, deciduous willows, many steppe and uh, fruit plants and uh, weeds. Xerophytes, plants that live in arid areas, uh, are able to cope with the lack of moisture, soil, and atmospheric drought. 
Xerophytes are the most common and diverse in hot and dry climates. They include desert, arid steep, savanna, and arid substrate species. Xerophytes with a well delight xeromorphic nature of the structures of leaves have a special appearance, uh, so they are called sclerophytes. Sclerophytes do not re uh, retain moisture, evaporated it in large quantities and removed it from the subsoil. The bodies of these plants are hard, dry, sometimes woodly. Uh, often in the absence of water there are a fail of leaves which leads to describe evaporation. Many sclerophytes spend the dry season in a state of forest rest. The function of biotic factors can be considered as the function in the environment, the activity of some organism living in that environment, or the activity of those factors in all associated. Clements and Shelford called the relation between organism living in a given environmental coxal, divided into two types of coagulation. Uh, homotypic reaction, or interaction between organisms of the same species, and head heterotrophic relations, the relation between different types of organisms. There are the next uh, types of relation of biotic factors. Firstly, neutrality. The two types are independent and do not affect each other. Is if the two populations do not affect each other, neutralism occurs. Basic neutrality is very rare in nature, as there may be direct and indirect effects between spaces, the effect of which we may not be see to uh, the in complements of our knowledge. Next, computation. Each Spaces has a negative effect on each other. The relation of clausally related spaces living in the same spaces is called computation. Spaces complete for food, shelter, or eggs. Mutualism is a symbiotic relationship in which two connect spaces benefit from each other. In symbiotic relations, the fact uh, of that uh, who, two spaces must participate in uh, each other is called mutualism. For example, refers to the po pollination of plants only the specific incent uh, spaces. Another example of mutualism, uh, mutualism is birds that feed on parasites on the skin of rhinoceros, the fight of which is considered a dangerous signal. Mutualism is widespread in nature. Next, cooperation. Two uh, types associated. It is mandatory. Each species cannot live separately, but live together brings benefits to both. Commensalism, one of the partners, an association of spaces that benefits itself without harm. This type of connection are common in nature. For example, large mammals uh, are considered to be distributed of seeds and uh, fruits without seeding any benefits on, or harm. Uh, an example of com uh, commensalism is uh, birded crops that cling to the whale skin. Amensalism is a type of relationship between spaces in which one aspect does not feel resistance but suppresses the server of another spaces in a cohesive environment. The negative effect of co uh, cohesiveness on one species and other uh, and then the oppressor does not receive both benefits and harms. It is amensalism. An example of amensalism is a uh, Light loving grass that grows under the Christmas tree suffers from a lot of shade, so it's indifferent in the willow. Parasitic, a form of interaction between species of one organism, parasites user for another period of time to the beneficial substance to another species or for host. Basically, the parasite uses its host not only as a source of food, but also a per permanent or uh, temporarily habited. Both plants of animals can play the role of parasites. Next, prediction, a type of relationship in which uh, representatives of one species uh, eat, destroy, representative for another species uh, or the organisms. So one species can serve as a food for others. Uh, symbiosis is an 
inseparable link between the two species, which in some cases has a parasitic element which necessitated the coherence of organisms. A classic example of symbiotic is a lichen, which is a beneficial combination of fungi and alga. Uh, this uh, lecture is over. Thank you for your attention.